wanted to show you a couple things that I'm working on that um, are going to be part of the infrastructure of the new book that I have that's coming out in 2020. We're about, uh, let's say, 70% done with the book, but this is uh, one of the things that I'm doing as part of the process to uh, drive home the point of uh, a, a content strategy that is cohesive. And we're, we're slowly building the brigade around uh, the infrastructure of the right way to go about thinking through with visual identification. As you can see here, we have a digital marketing flight plan. And I think that this has been around or kicking around in my head for quite a while, but it's time to sort of think through the process of how this actually works. Now, um, you can see actually right here, we have a, a plane and, and what we're thinking about as, uh, or what I'm thinking about of, of how to get this all sort of into a cohesive, more malleable strategy to present um, to a business or in general, just to think about what you're trying to accomplish is to um, have a plane type, have a, an engine, uh, a paid engine, organic engine, uh, tailwind, luggage and cargo, and then passengers. All right. So in this case, let's identify each one of these. The plane type is where you're going. And the plane type is also what type of plane. So in this case, uh, we have uh, seven sets of pillar content. So seven types of content. Uh, we actually call this the 737 300, uh, meaning that it is seven pieces of content, three uh, versions of that content, and then seven networks. So in the engine number one, we have, um, and, and look, before I move on to the engine, so the, the plane type also has where it's going to, as I mentioned from the beginning, and, and what its destination is. So in this particular case, if it were for us, uh, or any, if it was for a client, I mean, it doesn't really matter either way, but let's just say it's for Practice Bloom, our main medical brand, it would be, let's say, pick a topic. So let's pick medical spas. So the plane type would be medical spas. Uh, the location would be, in this case, we probably either do uh, specifically to a uh, maybe 10 NFL cities, you know, large cities or 10 large areas. Cause we really like to get into major metropolitans where there's, you know, good population. Um, and then we would, we would probably maybe let's just pick one. Let's just say the New Jersey Metro cause this is easy or New Jersey, New York, New Connecticut sort of Metro. So we would say that the tri-state area is the, is the destination. Uh, the plane uh, type is a, as a medical, uh, med spa. Uh, and then, you know, now you sort of go back into our, our avatars, um, which actually come from part one and part two of the book, where we start to define the aspects of avatars in their general dimension. So we could say between the ages of 35 and 65, uh, you, you're really sort of general dimensions of that. So that's sort of the plain type. So we don't need to get too deep into the demographics, but you can just do some basics here to start. Um, it gets a little bit more intricate when you get into the actual ad strategies, but that's sort of the next step, right? So the next step is what are the engines? So the engines in our case, if this is what we're going to do for uh, practice bloom for our marketing would be Facebook ads, Instagram ads, because those two are combined YouTube ads, and pay-per-click. Right? So those would be the main engines that would drive uh, this content out there. And then the engine two would be, let's just say, uh, LinkedIn, um, Twitter, and uh, Google My Business. Um, and that's basically, there's seven right there. So we could certainly do more than seven, but I think the concept from a business perspective is those are the ones who have the biggest impact. Now there's derivatives on each one of these, which I'll get into. That's what all these seats are about in here. But what we really want to do is talk about, um, you know, the tailwind here. So the tailwind is going to be our, uh, our text-based um, derivatives of this. And there are certainly things where we found um, advantages in posting in Medium, Quora, and some of the other sort of more 
specific directories or specific environments related to the industry. So, or related to at least general public where people would search and Google would pick up an answer um, and they would present it in one of these formats. So there are tailwinds, which are again, a couple of uh, additional features. Now, luggage is the next topic here. And luggage is basically the, the offers that we have. So we're gonna get into that in a second, uh, but those would be the three offers and um, our, our main offer, which is you know our traditional home page landing page. Now you can see here we've got seven seats across. This is actually uh, supposed to be seven, but I got six here, and then we've got a whole bunch of seats underneath here. So these are all the pieces of content. So here's your pillar content. That would be these main seats up here, and so we would have uh, for the month or for the quarter. I mean, it doesn't really matter how you want to put it um, from a timing perspective. It's just good to get it down on uh, something. So here's your seven pieces of pillar content. We would have an interview, um, a, a tutorial, a before and after, a case study, a client-based um, solution, uh, maybe a, uh, a a pure sort of pitch strategy, and then a, a seventh would be more of a personalization sort of um I, I always call them sort of vlogs or or maybe just a a, a positive message type of scenario where um, we talk about uh, just business in general. So so really having seven pieces of pillar content, we do a lot of blog posting and we also do a lot of, um, I guess you could say video work, but you know, video, audio, it's, it's all the same. You need to have good solid pieces of content. So whatever they are, uh, in our case, it's going to be uh, seven different videos. So then we're going to take those videos, and then we have their second class piece right here, which is that we're going to have now uh, th the three derivatives. So the, the three derivatives are the main pieces. So these pieces of content live on the website, right? So if there's an interview with myself and someone who's talking about something specific to the industry uh, for MedSpa, that's what this particular case is. We want these to be all focused, right? Uh, into the particular vertical. You can always pick different verticals on different uh, months or different time zones, but we want to re time frames. We really want to get this stuff specifically niched out and verticalized so that we can do the proper set of um, procedures behind it. So now we've got these seven pieces of pillar content. Below that, we're going to have uh, which reside in the website. Now, these are the first versions that go out. The next level is three versions. One is going to be a uh, just a link and a review, uh, a short snippet of the actual piece of content, right? So we basically take a, a 30 to 60 minute piece of content as a sort of teaser piece, and that links uh, back to the page. We have another uh, piece of content, which is the third or the second piece of this, second or the third, which would be just a meme related to the topic. And then a third piece, which would be the entire sort of click back with one you know, static image. So those would be the three pieces underneath each one of these pillar pieces of content that would go into the channels, which are the engines. So now we look at below this. So it, that would represent now 21 pieces of content. So again, seven pillar, three pieces of uh, content cut from those pillar pieces. And now we've got the derivatives because in each particular um, social channel, you could have a whole lot of different groups. So now we have to think about the other iterations. We've got Facebook groups to post in. We've got uh, personal pages to put into this from LinkedIn. We've got uh, other feeds that we wanna drop in. So I won't go into all of this, but if you, you really s um, start to think about this, there's literally like a, about 10 different derivatives from the 21 content, uh, pieces of content that come out from the seven. And that's where it gets to 300. So you're literally looking at 300 pieces of content that could get delivered into the social infrastructure from seven pillar uh, pieces of uh, production. So that's why it's the 737 300. So you've got your seven pieces of content, your, your three uh, snippets or three sections of each one of those that go into the social channels, whether it's paid or uh, or organic. And then you've got your uh, pieces of content that need to go into the derivative uh, aspects of each one of these. Again, um, it could be personalization, it could be 
uh, groups. There's there's a lot of things that I could get into, but we're going to keep it at the very, very high level on this discussion. So let's move to this um, runway. So what we're talking about here with runways is we are talking about landing pages with offers. So this comes from traditionally from um, actually chapter two in the book that I'm writing, which is we need to get the offers in the uh, set up along with a main offer. So your main offer on the homepage for us for Practice Bloom is to get started. Basically, it's get started with a uh, connection to us. Literally, the most direct drive. You know, sign up for a time, um, or or at least sign up to uh, have yourself uh, get scheduled. So that's basically the the main conduit. Now, these three other pieces of conduit. Remember, go back to the luggage. Now we also want to give away topics. So in our case, we'd like to give away a pricing guide so people understand pricing in the market uh, and cost per lead. So this would give them an idea of what they could make on a particular topic. So in our case, we would talk about maybe cool sculpting and how much, you know, the market is buying and, you know, what the cost per lead in the channels are and what the next step in the evolution of the market is with cool tone marketing, which is the next one and how much those leads cost. So really sort of an idea of like when you start to put spends into the market for our particular customers in this particular topic, you know, how much that would be. Another one, uh, another landing page that uh, we will develop here, which is really cool, uh, is a uh, video audit. So a lot of people will uh, come to our site or, or come to a, a piece of content and we'll provide a free video audit. Uh, so they give us their information and we will provide them with a free video audit of their marketing, their current marketing strategy. So that's a great piece of content to get back out to somebody that's personalized. And then the last piece of content, uh, which we can, again, tie back into these different and original pieces of uh, content and their derivatives, uh, we would give some sort of offer in the market for either a free um, SEO, uh, you know, printout of their scores or another similar related topic to um, the aspect of what the potential third or fourth, I mean, we have so many different ideas, but one of the things that I'm doing right now is I have a, a very uh, long SEO discussion. I'd like to give a free SEO um, score for their local territory. So they know, so our clients would know, or our potential client would know, like how they're scoring locally. So if they gave us their URL, we could give them a, a printout of, you know, how they're ranked for their main keywords for their uh, locality. So those would be three typical types of offers. And that's the luggage. And you can see down here, we would have the luggage, um, which would give you the URL, the offer, and uh, the, uh, the the general topic for the strategy. So now, uh, and the homepage runway, which is just our offer, which would be, you know, to have a discussion with us directly. Again, get started discussion. And then we have the sales flight tower. And that's where this all gets connected back to our profit engine system, our profit engines platform. So now we need to also um, talk about what are, once we get a, a lead, that comes through from this when someone submits their information, we need to have our uh, downline uh, outside of this infrastructure through our profit engines tool, uh, the follow-up mechanisms. So you win or die in this, well, I would say win or die, but you, you win by having a very um, structured uh, system that follows up with a customer with emails and SMSs to let them know, hey, you know, follow-up is to do X. And you know, there's certainly for different um, scenarios, we may have some uh, different uh, criteria on how we want to follow up. But in general, they should come into the, uh, they should all come into one centralized repository. And you don't even need to necessarily break them up uh, at this stage as a simple uh, platform to just give them follow-up reminders to uh, book in a time to um do a, a, an overview and see if they're uh, available to become a customer if it's a good fit. So, you know, these are things that we do. So then this all leads to this digital marketing cockpit dashboard where what we really want to see is we want to see cost per lead per channel, right? So we want to see how well uh, when we start to run ads on the engines, how well these are doing. So how well 
the channels are doing. And we also want to see the total amount of leads. We want to also see the uh, cost uh, for the entire marketing and then a conversion rate. So these are sort of the, the top end sort of six things you want to do. And then you could have a whole list of other things. And I think one of the things that we're considering is in this uh, cockpit view is to take those seven pieces of content on the web, take the URLs and see how well the adhesion is getting. So, you know, time on site, uh, clicks to this, to the content and how well they're doing. So this is really sort of a very articulated digital marketing flight plan based off of content marketing and uh, paid ad strategy. So this is something that we're implementing for Practice Bloom and we're implementing for our clients as well. Hope this helps.